Let's begin with the government outlining the parameters of its inquiry into the contamination of Havelock North's water supply. This has just happened this afternoon. The inquiry was ordered after an estimated 4,100 people in the town were hit by gastric illness, with about 500 cases now confirmed as being due to Camp Labacta. The investigation will look at engineering, catchment and infrastructure issues, as well as aquifer management and the resource consenting process in the region. The Prime Minister says the draft terms of reference have been deliberately made very broad. The inquiry will look at how the Havelock North water supply uh, became contaminated, how this was subsequently addressed and how local and central government agencies responded. We'll also look at what lessons and improvements can be made uh, in the management of water supply in Havelock North and more broadly across New Zealand. The draft terms of reference will be finalised once we have appointed someone to head the inquiry, uh, which we hope to be in a position to do so very shortly. The inquiry will not consider or determine any kind of civil or criminal liability, but John Key says charges could still be laid by the police or another body if they decide to do so. We don't know the cause of contamination, so therefore we don't know whether any civil or criminal charges could follow. Um, but by definition, they don't happen that, you know, uh, from an inquiry per se. They happen because uh, the relevant agencies decide that there should be action taken. And you saw that with the Royal Commission of Inquiry, for instance, in Christchurch. So in the end, the sort of bodies that could take a prosecution if there was one that was deemed to be relevant, obviously are potentially the council or the police. But you know, we're quite a long way from that. I'm just simply saying that you know, everything's on the table. It's a proper inquiry and we'll see if any information comes to hand. Everything's on the table. The Prime Minister said he was asked if the inquiry found the contamination was the result of intensive farming in the area. Whether Cabinet would consider a second inquiry, he replied that Cabinet did consider whether or not to do the inquiry in two parts, but then decided the terms of reference were wide enough to allow the panel to come up with broad conclusions. Ultimately, if it makes some recommendations to the government about changes that are required, then the government will obviously listen to that. I mean, the only point I'd make is just that yeah, while there has been some intensification in farming in New Zealand, without doubt in, in recent um, time, that's been happening for a long period of time. We haven't seen these issues somewhere else. Some of the early advice we had, but look, again, has to wait and be seen, is that apparently isn't a huge amount of intensification around these particular bores. And that was one of the points, I think, that um, MPI or somebody was making on the radio over the weekend. But again, all of this will come out in the full inquiry. John Key, the Prime Minister, talking a short time ago.